to Wizkids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, and with me are some of the brightest and sharpest students from across Guyana who are here to test their knowledge in core subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants. Contestant number one, can you tell me your name, age, and school, please? Hi, my name is Chantrika Baldi. I'm 11 years old, and I, t and I attend Camille's Academy Crane location. Awesome. Contestant number two. My name is Destiny McBean. I'm 11 years old and I attend Grimms Hall Primary School. Welcome. Contestant number three. My name is Kelsia Phillips. I am 10 years old and I attend the Arima Primary School. Awesome. There are four categories of questions. Mathematics, Science, English and Social Studies. The host will select the first category and read the first question. Contestants will compete for the opportunity to answer questions by hitting their assigned buzzer. Once a question is read to completion, the contestants can then hit their buzzer. Contestants must keep their hands to their sides while a question is being read. The first contestant to hit their buzzer will be identified by the buzzer system and the host will then call on the contestant to answer the question. Once called upon by the host, the contestant has 10 seconds to answer the question. If a contestant answers the question correctly, they will be awarded 5 points and be allowed to select the category of the next question. If a contestant fails to answer a question correctly, the host will share the correct answer and will then select the category of the next question. Once a total of 40 questions has been exhausted, the contestant with the most points is declared the winner and will proceed on to the next round of competition. If any contestants have the same number of points or there is a tie, those contestants will then advance to a bonus round. The bonus round will contain five questions from any of the four categories, following the same rules and format as outlined. All right, let's get straight into it. Let's start with mathematics, please. What is 13.25 meters plus 14.15 meters expressed as centimeters? Contestant number one. 27,300 and yeah, 300 I'm centimeter. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would be 2,740 centimeters. All right, let's go to science, please. Which process in the water cycle fills up lakes, rivers, and seas? Contestant number one. Precipitation. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. What is the meaning of the underlined phrase? At the school party, David blew his own trumpet. Contestant number three. He doubted himself. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. He actually boasted about himself, okay? Let's proceed to social studies, please. Which is the ocean nearest to Guyana? Contestant number two. Atlantic Ocean. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. English. Identify the part of speech of the underlined word in the following sentence. The house was badly damaged. Badly. Contestant number three. Adverb. That is correct. Contestants, remember you need to keep your hands to your sides and wait until the question is completely read. Okay? Yes. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Why did the early European settlers construct forts? Contestant number one. The early European settlers construct forts to protect themselves. That is correct. Protect themselves and their valuables. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Identify the synonym of the underlined word in the following sentence. Mr. King's infantile behavior surprised everyone. Infantile. Contestant number three. Childish behavior. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. Science. Jonathan is seven years old. How many times per minute would his heart beat? Contestant number three. A hundred. That is correct. 
the actual, actual range would be 70 to 110 beats per minute. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. How can we demonstrate respect for the flag of Guyana? Contestant number three. By taking it down every afternoon and don't let it be dragged on the floor. By not dragging it or disgracing it, that is correct. You can also stand at attention when the flag is risen. Go ahead and select the next category, please. English. Complete the following sentence by choosing the correct word. We should comb our something every day. Contestant number two. Here. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Simplify the underlined phrase in the following sentence by choosing the most suitable words. Ken bought a book in which to record each day's event. Contestant number three. A journal. That is correct, or a diary. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which substance present in tobacco can cause harm to our lungs? Contestant number three. Lungs cancer. I'm sorry, we asked for the substance. So nicotine. That would be nicotine, but we, we cannot give you that question. Okay? Let's go to science, please. The earth rotates on it. Contestant number three. Axis. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Mr. Khan noticed that insects had eaten all the leaves of his Kalaloo plant. Which of the following processes will not be affected by the action of the insects? A. Respiration B. Germination C. Transpiration D. Photosynthesis Contestant number 2 D. Photosynthesis I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct response would be B. Germination Alright? Let's go to mathematics, please. What is area? Contestant number three. Area is the space in a flat shape. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. Rayan was not allowed to register at a certain school because of his religious beliefs. This action is an example of something. No one attempted to answer that question. The correct response would have been discrimination. All right, mathematics, please. Sarah has a mass of 21 kilograms and John is 8.5 kilograms heavier. What is John's mass? Contestant number one. Um, 29.5. That is correct. It would be 29.5 kilograms going forward. All right. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. Guyana achieved independence on what date? That's number three. On the 26th of May, 1966. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Stay in social studies. Who were the inhabitants encountered by the Europeans in Guyana? That's number three. The Africans are the ex -slaves. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be the Amerindians or the indigenous people. Let's proceed to science, please. Sugar dissolves in water. It is said to be... That's number three. A solution. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be a soluble. The combination of sugar being dissolved in water is a solution. All right? Let's proceed to mathematics, please. What is perimeter? Contestant number three. Perimeter is the total distance around and closed shape. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science, please. Which planet is found between Venus and Mars? Contestant number three. Earth. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. What led to the enslavement of Africans by Europeans in Guyana? Contestant number three. To work on the plantation. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in social studies. On which continent is Caracas located? Contestant number three. On the continent of South America. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Simplify the underlined phrase by choosing the most suitable words. 
The vase Miss Prasad bought can easily be broken. Contestant number three. It is fragile. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Stay in English. Complete the following sentence by choosing the most appropriate word. Unnecessary is to necessary as disobedient is to... Contestant number three. Disobedient is to obedient. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. That is the last social studies question. What is the name of the currency used in Suriname? Contestant number three. The Suriname dollar. That is correct, or SRD. Go ahead and select your next category. You've already exhausted social studies. Science. Which of the following is a part of the respiratory system? A. Kidneys. B. Trachea. C. Pancreas. D. Oesophagus. Contestant number one. Trachea. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Substances that dissolve in water are called... Contestant number three. Solutes. All right. So unfortunately, we will not be able to accept solute as the answer. While solutes can be soluble, not all solutes dissolve in water. All right. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. The number of centimeters in 1.39 meters is... Contestant number one. 1,390. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would, it would be 139 cm. Okay, let's proceed to English, please. What is the meaning of the underlined phrase? Sue and Sally decided to bury the hatchet. Contestant number one. Make peace. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. Science. The sun causes rocks to expand during the day and something at night. Contestant number three. During the day and noon? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would expand during the day and it would get smaller or contract at night. Okay, let's go to mathematics, please. How many liter containers are needed to bottle 3,500 ml of hand sanitizer? That's number three. Three. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be four. Let's proceed to English, please. Identify the part of speech of the bracketed word in the following sentence. We divided the sweets among our friends. Among. Contestant number three. Preposition. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science, please. This is the last science question. True or false? The sun, wind, water, and clouds are some causes of weathering. Contestant number two. True. That is incorrect. Clouds are not a cause of weathering. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. A man took two hours, 10 minutes to walk a certain distance. His son took three hours, five minutes. How much longer did the son take? Contestant number one. The son, the son took. Thirty minutes. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be 55 minutes more. Let's proceed to the last English question, please. What is the meaning of the underlined phrase? The old woman tried to make both ends meet. That's number one. Try to live within her means? That is correct. The last category available, mathematics. What is the formula 2L plus 2B used to calculate? That's number three. To calculate the area of a triangle. I'm sorry, that would be the perimeter of a rectangle. Okay. What metric unit would most likely be used to measure the distance from your house to your school? Contestant number three. Kilometers. That is correct. Last question for this segment. 415% expressed as a decimal is... Contestant number one. Four point one five. 
That is correct. All right, based on the scores displayed, contestant number three, you are in the lead for this episode of Whiskits. Contestant number one, you bring second, and contestant number three, you're in third. Congrats, guys. How are you feeling right now? Contestant number, let's start with contestant number one. I feel so proud of myself. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Contestant number two. I feel I can do better. We can always do better, but don't let this demotivate you in any way, shape or form. Remember, we were also testing your speed, okay? In addition to your knowledge. And it's quite clear that all of you knew the answers. Contestant number three. I feel very proud of myself. Okay, as you should. You should all feel very proud of yourselves, all right? Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Guyana Learning Channel's Wiz Kids Show. Join us next time for even more excitement, challenges, and friendly competition. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, saying goodbye and see you in the next episode. I think I did well, and I think my school and my teachers are proud of me. They are good. I mean, contestant number two, she could have done better, but still, they did good. I'm looking forward to be the winner of WizKids this year for 2024.